Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video in 2016. I hope you guys had a great New Year's Eve and of course a happy new year. Today I'll be talking about all the books that I really want to read in 2016. Of course, not all of the books that I will be reading are on this list, but these are the books that I really, really want to read. So this year I really want to read some more fantasy and I also have a few series that I want to start and that I have to finish. So the first series that I need to finish is the Harry Potter series. I have the last two books, The Hoplet Prince and The Deathly Hallows that I still need to read. These are the Dutch copies. They're both like around 550 pages. I'm super excited to read these. I'm also very sad because I don't want the Harry Potter series to end because it's so good and <sighs> then also something different Harry Potter related that I still need to read is right there. Mm-hmm, you know it. It is the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Illustrated Edition or Sorcerer's Stone. I got the UK edition, so oh my god. I bought this like a few months ago. It was super cheap because the retail price was like 40 euros and I got it for 20, so I was super happy. I've um, flipped through this book and the illustrations are gorgeous. I also haven't read a Harry Potter book in English, so mm, I believe that this is gonna be so awesome and I cannot wait. For now, I'll just use it as decoration. <laughs> Then also another fantasy book that I really need to read is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. A lot of you guys will know this book. Probably everyone knows this book. It has gotten a lot of hype last year, but then the reviews were very mixed. A lot of people were like, ugh, this book wasn't what I expected it to be, and it was so... it had a lot of stereotypes and all that stuff. I'll just dive into it without any expectations and we'll see what I think of it. I'm excited to read more fantasy. Then another fantasy book that I really want to read is The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. This is the fifth book in the Percy Jackson series. I have it right here, but I don't want to take it out of the box set because it's really hard to get out. But I just recently read The Battle of the Labyrinth and I really enjoyed it. So I really want to finish this series this year and that is going to happen because it's only one book. I'm not sure if I'll continue on with the Heroes of Olympus series because I like the books but it's not like I'm in love with them so yeah we'll see what I'll do with that other series. Then another fantasy book is Air of Fire by Sarah J Maas. I read uh, Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight last year and I started Air of Fire during the summer but I read until page 70 and I didn't understand a thing what was happening so I guess that I forgot a few important things in Crown of Midnight because I really want to enjoy this book and I felt kind of disappointed that I didn't like the first 70 pages as much as I liked the first 70 pages of Crown of Midnight and Throne of Glass. So I just need to reread the last 50 pages of Crown of Midnight and then I'll continue on with this series. I also really want to read Queen of Shadows, which is the fourth book. Because until so far, I love this series. It's so epic. The fantasy is awesome. I say awesome a lot, so I'm sorry if you've heard that a lot of times. <laughs> and I would also like to read a book from Cinda Williams Chima, I guess is her name. Uh, so I really want to read The Warrior Heir or I want to read The Demon King, uh, one of her fantasy series, because they sound really good. I've heard a lot of great things about both of these books. We'll see which one I'll read, but I'm just really excited to read one of her books. Whoa, where? Oh my god. My battery is dying from the lights. I can see it right now. <laughs> so I really want to read Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. I've been wanting to read this book for like two years or something about like this video game and the creator of the video game dies, but he doesn't have anyone to give all of like his money to. So in order to win the money, you have to finish the game. Then another sci-fi that I really need to read is Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. I read Cinder in May. I liked it, didn't love it as much as I thought I would. I'm kind of like, huh, about picking up Scarlet. I've heard a lot of people say that even though they didn't really love Cinder, they did really like this book. So I'm excited to pick this one up. I don't know, I did really like Cinder, so we'll see what I think about Scarlet. Then contemporary, and for contemporary, I really want to read more Colleen Hoover. So I'm not really sure which one I'll pick up next. I have read Maybe Someday, and that's the only book that I've read from her. Colleen Hoover's book was so great, Maybe Someday I loved it, so I believe that all of her books are super great. I cannot wait to read more. So those are basically all the books that I really want to read this year. As you can see, a lot more fantasy because I just really want to read more fantasy. I will probably have many more books that I really want to read this year, but I don't know. For right now, these are the books 
that I'm super excited about. Let me know in the comments down below which books you really want to read because maybe I will be like, oh my god, yeah, that's a really awesome choice too and then I'll read it as well. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos, and I will see you guys next time.